Next up, David Charles Allen, Village Properties Realtor and host of The Hop. That's Home Ownership Podcast. Welcome, David. Welcome to The Hop. This is David Charles Allen, Realtor at Village Properties in Santa Barbara, California, with my good friend and co-host, Patty Teal. I'm doing great today, Patty. How are you doing? I'm doing fine as well, David. Thanks for asking. Of course. So we have some more beautiful weather here. I'm not sure how it's looking in Florida, but we have sunny skies scattered throughout the 70s this upcoming week. We've had a little bit of fog rolling in in the morning and late afternoon. So this is interesting. Usually we get this at the beginning of summer. So it's cool to have it kind of as we're winding down, looking towards fall. Yeah, a little bit of fog is kind of nice as long as the sun comes out by the end of the day. Yeah, exactly. It's always a good switch up here when we're so used to one type of weather or one type of uh, environment, so to say. So it's cool to have a little switch up every once in a while. Yeah, my husband is really missing the Santa Barbara weather. He said, I was just born to live there, you know, because it is rather (laughs) uncomfortable in Florida. Hot and humid. People warned me and they were not kidding. How are you taking to it? Is it a different kind of hot than Arizona? It is a different kind of hot than Arizona. The temperature is not as hot, the dial, but they say how it feels is very, very hot. And it's definitely kind of like you've moved to another planet, kind of like a jungle. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know the grass grows, I swear it grows three inches overnight. It's just you know, a lot of rain every day in the afternoon. Usually there's a pretty big thunderstorm and it'll get up in the 90s, but probably feels more like 100. Oh, wow. See, mm-hmm. I mean, I love visiting that kind of weather. I don't, I'm not sure because I haven't lived in it yet. So, right. And they say, you know, they call it the season when it gets to be October, November. That's when the weather gets very, very nice. And it's not as humid and it's not as hot. So a lot of people actually leave if they, you know, have the resources to do it and come back in the fall. Oh, wow. So they have the seasons only a couple months long or is it longer than that? No, it's longer than that. Oh, okay. uh, I, th- <laughs> I think they consider it really nice from October or November through May. But oh, then okay. June, July, August and September, people don't like to be here. It's a little brutal. I, I understand mm-hmm. that. That makes sense. Right. So what's happening in Santa Barbara in the real estate world? Yeah. So in the interest rates have gone up slightly. So they're at 3.125 for conforming your 30 year fix. So that was at 2.875 or last time we we're on the call. And then, so that's gone up kind of significantly to say the least. And then what's interesting is non-conforming jumbo actually went up Another point as well. So it's at 2.875 instead of 2.75, which has been at for the last couple months now. So interesting. And I know you don't have a crystal ball, so you probably don't know whether it's going to stay up or continue to go up or whether it's going to drop back down. Or do you? Uh, Too many factors. I mean, you can ask 100 different people and they'll give you 100 different answers. So it's all dependent on the feds and what's happening with the economy and how trustworthy people are that are getting loans. And there's so many factors. It's really hard to keep up with. Good person to talk to would probably be a lender at first and then kind of see where it goes from there. Right. But still relatively low in the big scheme of things. Yeah. Still extremely low. Um, Mm -hmm. So even a couple of years ago, we're hovering around 5% and then it dropped to 4%. We thought that was low. So, I mean, two Below three in the low threes, you're still getting, I mean, I was hearing inflation's almost at 5% now. I'm not sure who I heard that from and how legit that is. But if you're looking at 5% inflation and a 3% loan, you're almost gaining money by getting the loan. I don't know. (laughs) It's interesting to think about. Right. It is interesting. Have you felt the inflation in Santa Barbara? Yes, you've definitely seen it. Um, Gas, especially... And then food prices as well. Food prices have been going up pretty significantly, especially if you're going out to eat. I'm not sure if that's because they have low staff or if food's not coming through the supply chain as quickly as it used to and, or mm-hmm. what's kind of going on there. But we are seeing some price increases, that's for sure. And then right. obviously real estate too. So real mm-hmm. estate's been blowing up. So, you know, that's definitely feels a little inflated. Right. In terms of the statistics of how this last week's been, 57 new listings. So that's pretty consistent about how many new ones are coming on each week. Six price changes, 56 that closed, 37 that pended, 
four or five that expired and six that were coming soon. So huge week and almost 20 new listings that didn't go pending, so to say. That might be our biggest week of gaining more supply in quite some time. Oh, that's really good to hear. So if people are interested in looking, there's some new properties out there. How would they get a hold of you, David? Yeah, my number is 805-617-9311. Or they could send me an email at david at davidcharlesallen.com. Thank you, David. Are we ready for the pooches at home? Yeah, let's hear about it. (laughs) Well, uh, for the listeners, I have three dogs in my household, and David has a cute little chihuahua mix named Bailey. But one of my dogs, Ollie, who's the love of my life, he's very shy dog, very scared dog of new experiences and things. And I knew moving out to Florida, he was going to meet my grand dog, Riley, who is a golden retriever pup, who's about three times Ollie's size. And the introduction didn't go as well as I had hoped, David. I even took Ollie to a trainer before going out there. And he walked really well with big dogs and and did quite well. But I think the mistake I made was bringing Riley, the golden retriever, into my house too soon. And Ollie just kind of totally freaked out and acted very aggressive. And now I don't get to babysit Riley over here. Oh, my God. (laughs) Oh, no. I lost my babysitting gig. (laughs) Yeah, I feel like uh, it's always good to have a meet in a neutral spot first. So and that is what the trainer said. And they're barking in the background just right on cue if the (laughs) listeners hear that. Of course. That's how it goes. I know. So it is too bad. She's just going out of town, my daughter. And so I wanted to have them get to know each other. And unfortunately, I think we rushed it because they did pretty well in the walk on the neutral territory. But then when he came over here, he was shaking and he wouldn't walk around. And then he charged at him a couple of times. It was not a good scene, but we'll work on it again when she gets back from her trip. She's found another babysitter for him. So I've lost that job. (laughs) (laughs) I did spend time with him today at his own house. So Ollie kind of failed the test. My daughter thinks he's a vicious, mean dog, which he's not. He is really a sweet dog, but he is a shy, scared dog and things have to be taken very slow for him. Yeah. You know, just got to call it their pace sometimes. That's right. That's Can't right. Rush into it. Yes. Bailey, have a good week. Bailey's having a great week right now. So she's enjoying her nap time, mid afternoon okay. nap. So oh, good. she'll be back out there on another walk and have a beautiful day after that. That sounds wonderful. Well, David, thank you so much for the latest real estate news in Santa Barbara. And I look forward to talking to you again next week. Sounds good, Patty. Let's give it a go. Okay. Take care. Bye bye. Right, you too.